This is Professor Esther Dillard with another tutorial, this one on how to record spoken word audio into GarageBand for news projects, short screencasts, or podcasts. First, connect your mic to the iPad. This is the power port where it goes in. Some microphones work this way, others I would say connect right into the earphone port, but my iMic connects right into the power port. Also connect your earphones to the other port for monitoring your audio. If your mic connects to the power port, likely you have a special cord that will allow you to put your earphones on that cord as well with another connection. Now if anybody else is using wireless earphones, um, go to the settings icon on the iPad, then select Bluetooth, then select your earphones and make sure that they are connected and you should be able to hear after a few seconds hear your voice. However, if you're using Bluetooth earphones, likely you will hear a delay in the audio recording. So it could, if you're trying to do your own voiceover, it may make it a little difficult for you to do your voiceover. Generally, if I'm doing voiceovers, I turn the Bluetooth um, earphones off, just do the audio, and then check it when I'm done. But if I'm doing interviews with someone, I want to continually monitor the audio to make sure that it's there. Now you want to select the GarageBand icon. If you select this, then you'll see a number of options to choose from. You don't want to select any of the instruments because basically for our purposes, we're going to be using the microphone. Select the microphone, audio recorder. Um, don't turn monitoring on. Well, I should say you should turn monitoring on so that you can hear any of the recording that you're doing. I'm not going to turn monitoring on. I'm going to hit cancel. And the reason being is that I'm, sh I'm recording a podcast and I don't want any of the audio to reverb or have a um, distortion while I'm doing this recording. So the second thing you want to do is go up into the right uh, portion of the screen and select the blue metronome, I want you to tap onto it so it will not have it highlighted anymore. That means that the metronome or the clicking sound that some people like to use to keep time will not be throughout your entire recording. So we want that off. Also go to the wrench uh, in the far right corner of the screen and select metronome and count in and uh, move the the slider next to count in to your left and then you'll turn that count in off. Also select the plus button to the far right and we're going to change that section A which is at 8 bars. Right now if you keep it there that means that your recording will only be 8 bars long or approximately 8 seconds. Um, that's because um, that's how the interface is set up. So the best thing to do in order for you to continue recording on a long period of time, select section A and turn automatic on. That means sliding that slider to the right. Now you'll be able to record for as long as you want. You can, you can tap anywhere in the interface and it will disappear. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your microphone is set up correctly. Um, initially when you open up the uh, the app for the first time. Likely your screen won't look like my screen. It'll probably look like this. And you'll see this uh, warning saying tap the record button above to start recording using an external USB microphone interface. And you'll hit OK. And you'll get these options which are microphone and then there's like all these little icons where you can uh, put a plug in on your sound so it'll sound, have a certain, um, uh, I guess, uh, effect on your sound. Uh, so you can sound like a monster or something like that. But for our purposes, we want clean audio. Uh, we don't want to sound like a chipmunk or sound like we're on the telephone or sound like we're yelling through a bullhorn. Uh, we want to select studio. And that's generally what you're going to be using for this particular uh, recording and select the microphone in the middle. Um, now the microphone in the middle likely will have this selected. You'll have it on fun. And you want to change that setting on the left so that it's not on fun but select vocals. And it may be another one that's low, you know, you might have oh, pop overdrive, sweet chorus, punchy presence. You don't want to have any of these. 
you only want to press um, select on the bottom of the right hand uh, selections narrator once you select that hit done that will give you uh, pretty much a clean audio all the way through your piece and then you are almost ready to record um, what you want to do is then look in the middle of the screen at the top you'll see your play button your reverse button and then a big red button that is the record button that's what we want to start recording on um, I'm going to press that button right now and I'm going to say a couple words Mary had a little lamb its fleece was white as snow and everywhere that Mary went what the lamb was sure to glow um, and I'm going to say something like in Manhattan I'm Esther Dillard so I'm going to play the audio and I'm going to say a couple words Mary had a little lamb its fleece was white as snow and everywhere that Mary went what the lamb was sure to glow um, and I'm going to say something like in Manhattan I'm Esther Dillard so that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to take that audio and I'll be using it later on so I want to save that um, go to the upper left corner of the screen it says my songs select that once you select that it goes into your library or your garage band recents um, right now it's just called my song and I'm going to call that instead uh, Esther's closing track so how I do that is um, tap on my song twice and it will allow you to change the name from my song to Esther's closing track and hit done and now I'm done now that you've completed your recording and you have made a uh, change in the title you may want to share it with a person through email or perhaps you just want to airdrop it to someone else maybe you want to um, send it to your computer what you want to do is tap and hold on to the recording and you will get the options of copy rename move delete share tags and info select share you'll get the options of song ringtone or project if you select project it's going to send a actual project a garage band project and the only person that can open it is another person that has a garage band and then it's going to show you show that person all of your tracks and all of the edits that you made and that may not be the way you want to share it you probably want to share a completed project where all they have to do is listen to it you select that how you select that is select song um, I always select high quality because I want to have a nice clean sound and I can be able to edit and play with it later then have high quality selected and then select share then it's going to give you options that are on your iPad now I can send it to my MacBook Pro where I have um, my face pop up there I can send it through um, various different apps um, I can send it through chat, I can send it through Gmail, I can send it through mail, my regular mail, I can send it through a lot more other I items if I press more. Uh, on the bottom, they, I can save it in iTunes, I can save it to Dropbox, it gives me um, other options as well if I press more. Um, but I just want to airdrop it to myself in MacBook Pro and that's what I will do. And I press that and it exports the song and now it has airdropped it to my computer and it is a m4a format and that is um, basically a music format that Apple uses you can always change that m4a format to an mp3 format which most people use that are not Apple users and that you can do that in um, iTunes and that's another tutorial well, that does it for me. It's another KISS Media Podcast with Professor Esther Dillard. If you'd like any more uh, tutorials like this or you have any suggestions, feel free to put some uh, suggestions in the suggestion box. And um, also, if you would please press like um, for this video as well as subscribe so that I can continue to provide more information and more um, interesting podcasts that will help make your life a lot easier.